Hey, Tom here, Flip Anything USA. So on my blog, I show how I made my fortune in real estate, starting at 19 years old, millionaire by 28. Uh, got a book, Wake Up and Smell the Real Estate, uh, bestseller on Kindle and Amazon. Uh, so today I'm gonna talk to you about 1031s. Uh, the more money you make, the more often you're going to be doing these things, especially when you're in a real estate investor. Uh, you know, you hold property for a certain amount of time, or if you buy it right, like, like I teach you with, with my book, uh, you're going to have big profits. And you're not going to want to have to pay taxes on it any sooner than you have to. And so a 1031 is a vehicle that allows you to defer taxes. It, it lets you... Uh, you know, reinvest the money that you'd otherwise be paying out in taxes and you get to reinvest it and then, you know, down the road after you make more then you can pay it then when you sell it. Let me explain to you. I've got a, a sketch pad here and I'm going to go ahead and explain that to you how we do that. And let's do that right now. When you have a property, let's say you have, you started with this little house you see on your left there uh, and you've got a house you've sold, uh, you, you know, maybe you paid $200,000 for it and, you know, Maybe you bought it right and you're flipping it for 400 or, or you know, maybe you held it a little while. But either way, you, you, uh, you know, when you bought it, you had a mortgage. And in this example, I'm going to show that you paid 200000 You sold it for 400000 When you sold it for 400000 you had a, a $50,000 mortgage. So you effectively had, you know, $350,000 equity. The, the amount of that gain is going to end up being the difference between what you bought it and what you sold it for, uh, plus if you depreciate it over time, you're gonna have, you know, you're gonna have more gain uh, as well. So the beauty of this is, is that when you sell this property, you get an accommodator, okay? And so here's an accommodator right here in the middle. Now, when I first started using accommodators, it cost about $3,000, $4,000 for an accommodator. It's a lot cheaper now, I, I've, I have two Two sales right now, uh, one where I'm, I've got to spend $565,000 or more, and another one where I've got to spend about $300,000 or more. Uh, both fairly recent sales, uh, but uh, made some money. So the way this works is that now you've got your house you want to sell for $400,000. So you've got your accommodator in place, and now you find a buyer. Okay, uh, now you go into escrow. To, to, to facilitate the sale, and this is how it works. Upon funding your money, right, this equity right here, this 350000 it's going to go to the accommodator. Now, the house you sold, it's going to go to the buyer of the home. Now, meanwhile, maybe you found a property to buy or not. Uh, you have a couple different options within the 1031 rules, uh, but the most popular one is the one that you have to pick out your property within 45 days, okay? Within 45 days of your sale. Let's say you found a house, you know, 10 days after you sold the property or, or whatever, before 45 days for sure. Well, so you picked out the house you're going to buy, and that's this one right here. After you get this in escrow, when you're buying it, you get it set up to buy from the next person. Uh, you don't have to close it in 45 days. You have 45 days to pick out your property, but you have six months to buy. So when you finally do buy, the accommodator is going to take your funds and they're going to... So the funds are going to go to pay for the house, is going to go to the seller of that property. Let me just put an S here for seller. That's where you, and you basically traded this house in over here, you're going to go over here. And now this is your new property right here. So the funds bypass you. You're the seller, right? You sell the house. The money goes to the accommodator. They seem like they're bypassing you, and they kind of are. But they're being held for you here. And then when you find this property, they deliver the goods, the cash, and now 
you own the house. And when you buy the house, you get, you're going to have to spend $400,000 or more uh, in order to defer all the gains. And uh, anyhow, I uh, hope that was easy enough to follow. Uh, that's how it works. It's a wonderful way to go. Uh, sometimes you feel a little bit pressured if you don't have a property picked out, like uh, right, me right now a little bit, because the, like the pressure's on, right? The pressure's on. I've, I've made the sale, the money's gone into the accommodator's accounts, and now I have to buy something within 30 days. Or actually, well, I'm down to 35 days, but I had 45 days, but I've already burned 10. And uh, to make matters worse, I'm going fishing. And so, but I'm looking and looking and talking to agents every day and uh, sending out my letters and doing what I need to do to find another property. Uh, get my book, wake up and smell the real estate. It's a, it was a top seller on uh, Amazon and Kindle. Uh, it cost you 10, 20 bucks for either of those books in digital form or otherwise. And uh, you'll learn a lot. I've been doing it for a long time. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Please uh, share and subscribe.